Hello there, this is my second Blender tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the extrude uh, capabilities and loop cut. We'll start out with just a small scene with general as the type of file. And it starts out with three objects, the camera, the cube, and the light. And we're gonna do all of our uh, processing on the cube. And using this cube, we are first going to try out the new tool loop cut. Um, that is only available in the edit mode. So switch from object to edit mode. And we see the loop cut looks like a square with a um, green line through it. Go ahead and select that. That's like taking a knife and chopping your object in half. If you hover your mouse over the object, you'll see it either wants to cut things in half um, horizontally or vertically right in the middle is the default. So I'm gonna leave it chopping right um, right through the middle of the object uh, vertically. And as I select that, I notice in the lower left-hand corner, there is a menu that I can expand saying, what is the number of cuts that you would like to make through this object? So instead of one, if I change this to five, it's like taking my knife five different times and chopping through this object. And there's other things you can customize here, but I'm gonna stick with that five. So I'm quite happy with that. And you can select anywhere in the background and you'll see that now you've got the five different um, cuts through your object. Let's try that again, make sure we really have the hang of it. So we've got loop cut this time, instead of going um, vertically, I'm gonna go horizontally. And if I don't want to have the cut go right through the middle, you can use your mouse or your trackpad and select and drag this down. And I've also seen people will know the shortcut of Control R or Command R if you're on a PC or a Mac to replace this cut where you want it on the object. All right, so I've got this where I want it. I'm gonna select in one cut is plenty for me. So um, I'm done with that. I'm moving my mouse up to the selection tool and I can hit in the background. And now I see I've got five different cuts vertically, one cut horizontally. All right, so that was one of the tools loop cut. Let's talk about the other tool, which is the extrude tool. And first I wanna select a face that I want to expand. I'm gonna choose one of these faces on the top, so right next to the edit mode selection, there's a way to select either vertex or edge or a face select. I'm gonna choose face select and choose, it doesn't matter which one because we're, um, we're just playing with this. I'm not really making anything yet, but the next video I'll turn a cube into a cat. So first we select our face and then go to the extrude button, which is this one right here. And E is the shortcut for that. And now you can drag this up and extend this and you've got a whole nother surface to work with. So I'll try it again. I'll select another one of my faces. My extrude is still selected. So now I can pull this out. We could rotate and pick a different face and pull this out. So that was the extrude tool and the loop cut tool. So I'm, I'm having fun playing with this, but I think I will stop this video and start another video where I actually create a shape that looks like something. 